Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel, and I want to return to one of my favourite subjects, one of my many favourite subjects, if you like, and that is leaks around showers. Now, I've done a lot of videos on it, I've also done some explanations on it, but there are still people coming through in the comments who are saying, this is a load of nonsense, mate, you're just milking the job. I've been using plasterboard for years, and provided you use waterproof grout and a bit of silicon around the bottom, no problem. I've taken out showers which are 20 years old and they're as good as new. Now that's obviously the case. Not every single shower in the country leaks, but I'm old enough to have been out to loads and loads of showers and made some very good money replacing them. I don't want to carry on doing this. I want to retire and I don't want future generations to be stuck with this problem. I want it solved once and for all. So at the risk of boring some people and even myself, I'm going to go through the fundamentals of how you build a leak-proof shower. And one thing you don't do is just put plasterboard on the wall and tile over it and hope for the best. Even the British standards now say that you should not do that. That if you use plasterboard or whatever you use on a wall, you must tank the shower area. And when they say tank the shower area, that term tank means make it waterproof so that it would be like a waterproof tank, if you like, so that no water can get through. So let's start with fundamentals. We have a wall. We're going to have a cubicle that way. What we're looking at here is an L-shaped wall. And into that L-shaped wall, we put a tray. And the tray has a little drain in it there. First thing we do before we stick that tray in is we prepare the walls. These two walls, the way we prepare those walls is we either use tile backer board, of which there are many. I use Elements board because it's British made and it's one of the cheaper ones, but you can use Wadey, you can use all kinds of other things. You can use Aqua Panel, you can use Hardy Backer cement board, but whatever you do, use a board which is waterproof not just water resistant. By waterproof, I mean that if you chucked it in a tank of water and you took it out a month later, it wouldn't be sopping wet. It would not absorb water. And they're not all like that, by the way. Certainly what isn't like that is water resistant plasterboard. Forget water resistant plasterboard around the shower area as being sufficient. If you're such a cheapskate that you can't afford a bit of tile backer board of any description, use your water resistant plasterboard but what you must then do is put a waterproof membrane on it. You must either use a coating like Aquasil or something like Ardex and people like that make them, or you use a whole membrane over the wall, such as a Classy Seal system. We've got our walls completely tanked up and very, very important is this corner here. We need a bit of flexible tape across that corner because corners sometimes, especially if that one's a stud wall and that one's a masonry wall, corners often move and you get that hairline crack. You may not even see it but the water will find it because water can track through a tiny, tiny crack and it almost works better with a tiny crack because it kind of just sucks it in there through capillary action. So seal that. The next thing we need to do is we need to think about sealing our shower tray. Now you can use the Classy Seal system, which I showed when I was doing the job with James a few weeks ago. That Classy Seal system is basically a piece of tape which has a sticky, substance on that side of it, a black, horrible, gungy, sticky substance which sticks like the proverbial to the blanket. And on this bit, this is a flexible, stretchy fabric. So what we do when we get the shower tray, before we put the shower tray into place, we put that tape along the back of the shower tray so that it comes up in front of our board. We want our board going down to the floor. We don't want to put the tray in first and then put the board on the top of the tray because you get a void in the back and that will allow water to seep through. So that board always goes right down to the floor first and then seal the back of the tray with the Classy Seal system or something like that and we push the tray in against the board. Now, if we don't use that, we can use No More Leaks tape around the edge. Now, no, no More Leaks tape is fine. It's a good product, just a little bit more difficult to apply. Probably if you've never done it before, you won't make a neat job of it. But so long as it's stuck, it's stuck to both surfaces, that is the tray 
and the wall around it so long as we've got a good seal all the way around there and we've got this seal here and that seal by the way we need to come over that seal so let's do that seal first and then follow on with that seal there then we've got our first line of defense or our last line of defense if you look at it that way around that means that any water that gets through around that silicone joint by the tiles is not going to get any further so it's very very important that belt and braces approach nothing else will guarantee you a leak proof shower except this belt and braces approach even if you do the job and think oh it's okay you've got heavy people going in there you've got buildings moving you've got all sorts of things and you've got an enormous amount of water going in there these days people have power showers they absolutely soak that thing like a fire hose so we need to make sure it's well and truly up to the job so we've got our ceiling around the back we've got our tray in and we've either put down our no more leaks tape around here or our classy seal or any of those other kind of things then we can think about tiling now when we tile it's very very important that we tile all the way along and that the tiles finish up right at the edge of the wall because when we put our shower screen on we want our shower screen to go over the top of the tiles we never put the shower screen profile on the wall and then bring our tiles up to the edge of it because if we do any water that gets in there can leak behind that shower screen profile and drip out there and there once we've done that we've tiled our wall all the way round. we then apply our silicon seal joint all the way along the bottom and we make sure that that silicon seal joint runs behind that shower profile the shower profile is there the silicon is running all the way around there any water that gets around there can only get out in the end onto the floor the next thing very very important and this is where I see a lot of people making a mistake I've been out to so many leaking showers where people have thought they could solve it by getting a big tube of silicon and smearing it all the way around the edge of the shower and all the way around the inside of the screen if you look at the instructions for fitting a shower screen it says never ever silicon the inside of that screen because that screen is made the profiles on that screen are made to leak into the tray that's what we want any water that gets into that profile and believe me it does and it starts filling up that profile we want that water to arrive there and go down the drain we don't want that water going like that and if we seal the outside of the shower screen frame or whatever it's got even if it's just glass we seal the outside of it and that makes sure that anything leaks inside and doesn't leak outside if you seal the inside of it and the water builds up in there it will build up eventually to such a head pressure that it will force its way out probably on the outside onto the floor but not always the case so very very important our order of work is first sort out the walls then do all your sealing around there with a proper waterproof tanking kit whether it be a membrane that you paint on and leave overnight to dry some of those are quick drying those membranes whether it's a membrane that you paint on and leave to dry or whether it's a fabric that you stick over the top or whether in my case the thing i prefer is just to use waterproof tile back a board and if you use waterproof tile back a board and you seal up all those joints and if you've got any fixings on it you cover the fixings as well with waterproof tape very very important by the way when we get to put our shower valve in we want to do a similar job on the shower valve we want the waterproof tape around the shower valve so that any water that seeps down around the tiles can't get in behind the shower the cover plate that's on there seep down there and finish up soaking the tiles behind but the whole idea of using waterproof substrate rather than plasterboard is that if you do get any leaks through there and we get little cracks little micro cracks in the grout and sometimes the silicon breaks down and all those kinds of things if that happens we haven't destroyed the whole wall you don't get somebody like me coming along taking a sharp intake of breath and saying it's all got to come out madam it's going to cost you two thousand pounds you just say oh there's a little leak there that's occurred we just do the grout or redo the silicon seal and you're ready to go again you've lost nothing and that is the only way that I would say a shower ought to be built and if we did this and we also take care of the shower tray if the shower tray 
is a resin car shower tray and it says bed on a weak mix of mortar that is sand and cement then that's what we do we don't use a tile adhesive which sticks that to the floor so that if the floor moves the, the tray cracks but if it's a tray which is a foam back tray and it says you can bed it on tile adhesive by all means go ahead and bed it on tile adhesive but be careful when you do that that the shower tray is properly supported and of course level on all sides in other words you put a spirit level along the edges it's got to be level there the fall on the tray is built into the tray so it will naturally run to wherever the waste hole is there you are belt and braces approach bit of a messy drawing but that's me one thing i can't do is draw but one thing i can do is install an absolute leak proof shower and honestly you guys if you're out there still in denial saying oh i've always done it with plasterboard and it's been fine no it hasn't because i've been round to put your jobs right i'm roger bisbee come back and see me soon i might have calmed down by then mm -hmm.